what are store procedure what is store procedure testing do you want to know all these answers then check out our video hi i'm bagishree and i welcome you to all to our youtube channel excel bus testing where you'll learn testing in easy simple way so in our today's video we are going to see what is store procedure how to test store procedures before we start if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such updates so let's get started what are store procedures a store procedure in a sql is a group of sql statement that are stored together in the database based on the statement in the procedure and the parameters you pass it can perform one or multiple dml operations on the database and it returns value if any Thus, it allows you to pass the same statement multiple times, thereby enabling the reusability. What are the benefits of using store procedure in the SQL? Reusable. As I mentioned, our multiple users and applications can easily use and reuse the store procedures by merely calling it. Easy to modify. You can quickly change the statement in the store procedure as and you want to, and with the help of alter table command. Security. Store procedures allow you to enhance the security of an application or a database by restricting the users from the direct access to the table. Low network traffic. Server only passes the procedure name instead of whole query, reducing network traffic. Increase the performance. Upon the first use, a plan to store procedure is created and stored in the buffer pool for a quick execution for the next time. How to test this store procedure? There are two types of testing to be done on the store procedures. Functionality testing and non-functionality testing. In non-functionality testing, usually we perform security testing and performance testing. We mainly focus on functionality testing. So these are few scenarios which you have to check while doing the store procedure testing. First of all, you have to check in the database whether the store procedures are existing or not. Then if they are existing, they are check with the valid input data. Then check how store procedure handles the exception with the invalid data. Check how the result is going to display. Then insertion of data in proper table. Update the data in proper table by using store procedure. Then delete the data if any from the table. Then calling store procedure into st another store procedure. We will be covering few scenarios of this. I'll be showing you how to write the test cases for the store procedures and we'll see the structure of store procedures. Once you get the idea, you can write the for all the scenarios. Workbench software and here I have written one store procedure. Uh, this store procedure I have written in new schema database and it will get stored under store procedure tab. So what it what I have written? I have written select all course by course name, and here I am passing the course name as a parameter, and this in this statement by adding call I am calling this course name store procedure, and I am searching whether testing is there or not. So this is one simple store procedure I have written. I'll select all course which I have stored in store procedure tab under new schema database. So what I wrote in the store procedure. First of all, I have created the store procedure, create procedure, select all course. Then begin and end are the statements which have, you have to write before the begin your store procedure and after the end of whatever statement you have written. And then inside that store procedure, I have written only one statement, select star from course. And I am calling this store procedure, select all course by call method. So this is our simple select all course store procedure. To write the test cases for store procedure. So I have written three to four test cases, sample test cases. First of all, check the store procedure as how many are exist then second one is check the store procedure select all the course and display all the records from the course table here I am displaying trying to display all the records from the course table what we have to test is we have whatever store procedures we have written they and test query simple test queries what we wrote in the SQL they both should give same results 
so here in second test case i will be comparing my select all course store procedure with the test query select star from course and both should give me same results then third test cases i have written by passing the value in it so this is my store procedure select all course by course name and here i am searching for ruby and uh, my test query will be select star from course where the course name equal to ruby and these two should uh, display same the same result so let's test one by one so this is our first test case check the store procedures that are exist so in our database new schema we are checking how many store procedure exist so this is the test step so store procedure status where database equal to new schema i'll copy this statement in my workbench let's see the results see there are three store procedures stored in my schema new schema database here also we can check out in store procedures tab we are getting three store procedures so this test case is pass next test case is check the store procedure select all course and display all the records from the course table basically we are displaying all the records from one so course table which is there in our new schema database so i have written one store procedure for it so call sil and that is select all course store procedure and i am calling it by call statement and then my test query is select star from course and my expected result is both the queries should display same results so let's test it so this is my store procedure which i am going to call let's see the result it is showing four four records from the course table and uh, then we whatever our test query normal sql query if that we write select star from course that should give the same result because all the record should display so that is also giving same result so wherever whenever you want to write the select star from course every time no need to write all these statements you just stored all store all these statement you in one method that is select all course and then you can call it any time from anywhere so our next test case is also pass yes let's see here i have written check the store procedures by select all course by name by passing course name as ruby so what i am trying to do is i am passing the parameter ruby from my store procedure so to procedure select all course by course name ruby and this is our test query select star from course where course name equal to ruby and uh, we'll see whether both the queries display same result or not so let's copy paste all these statements in our workbench and let's see the result so let's run this store procedure it has given one record course id is 14 and ruby is there in our course name now let's run our test query this is our test query which is select star from course name where course name equal to ruby this is our simple test query 
and now let's see whatever what result it display same result course id is 14 ruby record is available in our course course table so uh, this is also test this test case is also pass so so this is it for today we test store procedures in database testing i have uh, written only three test cases you can try all the test scenarios whatever we have discussed and if you have any queries then do comment us in comment section if you like our video please like share and subscribe to our channel for more such updates we'll come with the next database testing video in our upcoming video so stay tuned for that uh, happy testing bye bye